Russia is one of the world's largest natural gas exporters, with substantial undiscovered reserves in the Arctic Ocean. This region presents an enormous number of opportunities for both domestic consumption and international commerce, particularly in light of the increasing demand from various Asian markets, including China. Nevertheless, the Arctic's severe weather conditions and formidable ice present perpetual logistical obstacles. Nuclear icebreakers are necessary to maintain supply routes along the northern sea route as traditional surface liquefied natural gas tankers experience frequent delays. In the end, these limitations result in increased costs, restricted operational periods, and the vulnerability of Russia's largest energy reserves to seasonal fluctuations. The competitiveness and energy security of Russia are contingent upon the availability of reliable transportation throughout the year. The disruptive potential of Russia's proposed nuclear-powered submarine liquefied natural gas tanker has been underscored by recent media coverage. The underwater behemoth, as this new vessel is known, dwarfs not only the United States' Gerald Ford-class aircraft carriers, but also the Russian Typhoon-class strategic submarines. The submarine is expected to be the largest ever constructed, with a length of 360 meters, a breadth of 70 meters, and a height of 30 meters. Its cargo capacity, which is anticipated to be 180,000 cubic meters of liquefied natural gas per trip, is equivalent to, or higher, than that of the most sophisticated surface QMAX liquefied natural gas carriers. The submarine tanker design is equipped with three RITM-200 nuclear reactors, each of which generates 90 megawatts of power, which provides the vessel with exceptional propulsion. The ship is designed to operate reliably in temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius and can navigate ice that is up to 3 meters thick at a speed of 31.5 kilometers per hour. In contrast to conventional tankers, which often spend a month in transit, for example between Murmansk and Shanghai, the submarine liquefied natural gas tanker has the potential to reduce the trip duration to a mere 15 days, providing a major commercial advantage. Furthermore, it is anticipated that nuclear propulsion will improve Russia's competitiveness in the global liquefied natural gas market by reducing fuel consumption and operational expenses by as much as 30%. Analysts perceive the Russian project as having far-reaching strategic implications, rather than merely being an ambitious business initiative. The Northern Sea Route is a year-round option due to the nuclear submarine tanker's capacity to traverse the Arctic ice without the presence of icebreakers. Additionally, its autonomy and stealthiness offer a crucial advantage in evading anti-submarine and maritime defenses. The vessel provides new opportunities for secret cargo transport, dual-use civilian military applications, and a rapid response to changing geopolitical conditions in the context of Western sanctions. This is a security concern. These advantages are acknowledged by Russia's industrial and scientific institutions, such as the Kurchatov Institute and design bureaus such as Maliket, which have backed the project as a critical component of future national security and energy policy. To operate in the Arctic, we would need to make significant advancements in building ship hulls, integrating reactors, storing liquefied natural gas, and ensuring the safety of the crew and cargo, which would require a huge effort. The demand for Russian natural gas in China is on the rise. The power of Siberia pipeline is the foundation of Sino-Russian energy cooperation, providing direct access to China's northeastern provinces with volumes of up to 38 billion cubic meters annually. This pipeline, which was established in 2019, provides a supply that is politically insulated, stable, and swift a significant strategic advantage for China. Power of Siberia too, and presumably other complementary projects are anticipated to expand pipeline capacity to 56 billion cubic meters annually. Efforts are currently underway to achieve this goal. Pipeline imports continue to be China's preferred method of acquiring Russian gas, as they mitigate the logistics risks associated with maritime routes and circumvent sensitive choke points 
such as the Strait of Malacca and the South China Sea. Pipeline gas is also less susceptible to the effects of global shipping disruptions or Western regulatory pressure. However, the current pipeline infrastructure is significantly distant from Russia's Arctic gas deposits. Liquefied natural gas exports are the predominant method of accessing the Asian market for these regions. China's demand for Russian liquefied natural gas has increased significantly in recent years, despite its substantial pipeline imports. Liquefied natural gas is the preferred energy source for industrial centers that are less accessible to pipeline infrastructure and as a supplement to the country's energy mix. Particularly in view of China's objectives to mitigate geopolitical vulnerabilities and diversify energy sources, the increase in Chinese imports of Russian Arctic liquefied natural gas underscores the importance of sea-based export flexibility. However, liquefied natural gas delivery routes continue to be at risk from ice, seasonal availability, and extended transit periods, which can sometimes exceed a month for shipments from Yamal or Murmansk to Chinese ports. The Russian liquefied natural gas trade is subject to competition from international suppliers and is under pressure from competitive shipbuilding industries and regulatory environments. The emergence of Russian nuclear-powered submarine tankers offers a new level of year-round reliability and transit speeds that are intended to make Russian liquefied natural gas a more appealing option for Chinese and other Asian customers. This change is expected to alter the landscape significantly. The construction of the world's largest nuclear-powered submarine presents significant engineering challenges. To implement innovative combinations of ice-class hulls and civilian-grade nuclear propulsion, Russian shipyards will be required to establish new dry dock facilities, develop modular hull construction techniques, and establish integration protocols. Given the technological complexity and the hazards associated with the transportation of cryogenic cargo and nuclear reactors in the extreme Arctic, environmental protection and safety continue to be priority concerns. Russian presidential and ministerial statements in 2025 have brought attention to national technological supremacy, energy independence, and Arctic strategic control, suggesting that political support for the project is substantial. At the same time, international watchers are paying close attention, with Western sources hinting at possible military uses and Chinese commentators highlighting the chance for changing trade patterns and more collaboration with Russia along the Polar Silk Road. Nuclear submarine liquefied natural gas vessels could significantly disrupt the global gas transport. Russia's capacity to transport huge amounts of goods beneath the Arctic ice year-round enhances its access to both European and Asian markets, circumventing regulatory choke points and geopolitical flashpoints. The new class of Russian liquefied natural gas carriers could be a critical asset to China's energy security strategy, as it would guarantee consistent supplies regardless of surface conditions or Western pressure. This development in technology may also result in modifications to the governance of Arctic resources, international maritime law, and shipping insurance standards. Financial commitment, technical feasibility, regulatory navigation, and broader market interest, both within Russia and for international customers such as China, will determine the project's future. Industry experts predict that the active development and commissioning process could require one to two decades. However, they also suggest that prototype infrastructure, modular shipyard facilities, and unmanned vessel technology will advance concurrently. In conclusion, more than an engineering marvel, Russia's liquefied natural gas submarine project is nuclear-powered. It combines decades of experience in the design of submarines, Arctic operations, and nuclear icebreakers with the strategic imperatives of facilitating new forms of international partnership, defending national interests, and future-proofing energy exports, particularly with China. New developments in submarine tanker design are expected to maintain Russian energy's competitive position on the global stage as pipeline infrastructure and liquefied natural gas exports become more interconnected 
in Sino-Russian relations. If it works out, this project will greatly change how Arctic natural resources are moved, secured, and traded, combining technology goals with, with national plans and removing old limitations. The nuclear submarine liquefied natural gas carrier project is a symbol of the evolving architecture of Eurasian energy flows between Russia and China, as it is designed to be modular, resilient, and capable of addressing the challenges of a multipolar era. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us